Okay, so in this video, I wanted to do a little more continuation on my previous video. Um, the last one, I was talking more about all the negativity um, in the tech space today. Uh, I wanted to talk about having fun. So I play with hardware for fun, okay? This is a hobby for me. This isn't, this isn't like, like people take this so dang seriously. You know, all the, like I said, with all the negativity and it's like people are so serious about it. And I just, I think we need to get back to having fun. And I think people need to stop having, having, you know, the constant negativity thrown in their face, the constant, you know, complaints about pricing, constantly being told stuff's too expensive, you know, constantly being told perfectly good hardware is old and outdated, constantly being marketed new stuff. Let's, you know, let's just have fun with hardware. So uh, this morning, I just randomly pulled this out of the drawer. Uh, we're going to just randomly play some games on this video card. Um, so this is nothing special. I specifically chose this card because I wanted it to be nothing special. So what we have here is the, <clears throat> I believe this was the lowest end, this was the lowest end card sold in the 900 series. This isn't even a 960. This is actually, and I actually mistook this when I, when I originally got this card. Kind of see it there. There we go. This is a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 900. 50. This is a generic card. This is one step above what I would call a zero value card. The only thing that makes this card of any value whatsoever, <clears throat> the performance level is, is zero. Okay. I mean, it's not zero, but you know what I'm saying. Um, the only thing that makes this card of any value is the, well, the low power draw. And uh, from a modern perspective, for a reasonably modern card, it's fairly small. So it has some this would be a uh, like this would be a card that you would put in like a Dell prebuilt or like an Optiplex and Inspiron, uh, you know, an HP Pavilion, something like that. This has a little bit of value for that, although even for that purpose, a uh, a GTX 1050 Ti is a better card. But <clears throat> I randomly gr grabbed this out of the drawer, and the system that we're gonna put this in, you know what? Let's do it. Oh, let's t let's move you over here. Okay, there we are. Okay, so the system that we are putting this in is my test rig. So this, ah, did my camera wrong. Just a sec, guys. I gotta, there we go. Okay, so <clears throat> right now I currently have installed the uh, the Radeon 6800 XT, it's a good card, having fun with it. This is a ninth gen build. It's you know it's it's a high end ninth gen build. It's a um it's an uh, an X299, but it's it's still um uh, it's still that generation of hardware where Intel was kind of stuck on one thing. Let me get some light here. Intel was kind of stuck on that, what was it, the, whatever, the, the 10 nanometer or whatever, I can't remember, but they were kind of stuck on this from basically 6th gen through 11th gen, so, um, oh, I didn't realize, that's actually not even screwed in, I've, I started just putting a thumb screw here, because I'm testing so many cards, I started just resting it on this thumb screw it, it does a good job, um, makes it easier for me to pull the cards in and out. So yeah, this is just a this is just a high core count, uh, uh, whatever you call it. Um, uh, man, I can't even remember. Uh, Skylake, I think high core count Skylake, Skylake X, I think is what they called this. But compared to modern hardware, it's nothing special. Back in the day, it was special. Actually, what this is special for today that you can see is all of this PCIe connectivity, and that's what I originally bought this for was for PCIe. Uh, this was originally my uh, my first high-end hardware uh, for my, um, actually, let's do, let's do 1080 on this. We're gonna run this 1080. This is not a, 
This is not a 1440 card, so I got to put it on a different monitor. Um, but yeah, so I originally bought this as my, my Plex server and my just my general use server. And then I ended up getting a good job <clears throat> a couple years ago, and I was able to upgrade all of that to more modern uh, 12th and 13th gen hardware, which works better for my uses. But I still had this on hand, so it seemed like a good option to build a generic test rig. So, so we're going to test the 950 on... Um, on uh, yes i'm plugging the video in, that in people always comment on that there you go now it's on the video um so yeah we're gonna test with this and uh it's uh the specific specs now it's a uh an i9 9820x 32 gigs of ram with a gtx 950 this is hardware that any hard maybe not necessarily this specific set of parts but this performance should be obtained a obtainable by anyone who puts some effort in for under $500, probably substantially under if you're any good at finding deals. So let's get to gaming and then I will have some closing thoughts. <clears throat> okay guys, so this is the first one we're looking at. Uh, we're just gonna do a couple of minutes of this. This is Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, this is on the very far outside edge of playable. Um, we're not even running at 1080p at the moment. Um, we're actually running 1600 by 900 plus FX, uh, FSR on the balanced setting, plus all of the settings turned all the way down. Oh, look, we can make that go lower. So I'm not going to sit here and try to tell you that this is good or ideal, but you're gonna you're gonna be hard pressed to convince me that this is unplayable. Okay, it's just it's not that bad. It hasn't reached now. If I turned the FSR a little bit higher, it would probably compromise the quality so bad it would be unplayable. But this is this is playable, um, and this is this is not a game that I would normally say to run on this. This is really just kind of a baseline for you to see what the very outside edge of capability is. Um, but this is just some, I mean, this is e-waste. This card is pretty damn close to e-waste. So, and also keep in mind, this is a two gigabyte card too. So that definitely is, I mean, you're, you're at the very edge. I mean, you're, you're basically using all the VRAM. You can clearly see that. Um, but, but it's playable. Okay. And honestly, if it were me, I could sit here for hours like this. I know people would say, oh, you have better stuff. What's, why don't you use that? But honestly, I mean, I'm not going to say I, I'm not really an all story driven player, but at the same time, it's like, it's playable. It's fine. It's nothing to call home about, but it's, it's fine. Um, anyway, so that was kind of the first one. So two minutes of that. And, and it is, it is on the outside edge of frame rate, but it's not juddery or stuttery or, or slowing down or anything. I wouldn't be surprised if you got slow down here or there with some stuff, but I mean, it's like I said, it's, it's fine. It, it's passable. It's, it's serviceable. So, you know, um, so let's get to the next one and, uh, see how the next one runs. Okay, so this is another absolutely excellent, not ancient title, but a little bit older. This is a 2016 release, if I remember correctly. Um, this is widely regarded as one of the best campaigns ever created. Um, and it's also widely regarded as a very well-optimized uh, campaign. Um, I am running at a, um, a lower setting level. Um, I'm sorry, not a lower setting level, a higher setting level. Um, kind of on the edge of what you would think this would be able to handle. So we're basically at a high setting with the, uh, I think I set a far do, yeah, full view distance as well. So um, I'm running at a fairly high setting level. So if you're really picky about frame rate, there's certainly a ton of room to, to increase frame rate. But um, this is one of those games that, can look really nice, and I kind of want it to look nice. Um, oops, and of course, there goes my phone, because it only goes off when I'm actually trying to record audio. Um, so there's no way you're going to tell me that this is not a heck of a lot of fun. This is a ton of fun. 
was like so much fun here. Oh, oh, look, did he get me? Oh, I gotta kill that thing. Um, it's been a while since I played this. This used to be one of my favorite games to do demos on, actually, just because it always looks so good. It's one of those games that really shows off the capabilities of a system. Um, you gotta do the fun wall running thing. Yeah, you are not going to convince me that this is not an absolute riot. This is a ton of fun. Quite a bit of variance in frame rate, obviously. Um, some areas aren't very demanding, other areas are, so... This is the, the very beginning of the game. Um, anyway, that kind of gave you uh, kind of just a quick peek at this one, so we'll get on to the next one. Okay, so the last one we're doing is Fortnite, um, because obviously this is the kind of low-end game that people who are going to just randomly get a video card like this and want to have some fun with it are going to want to play. And the ninth gen... Uh, is a good pairing because it's the kind of performance somebody under those circumstances may likely have access to. Um, <clears throat> so let's uh, let's just play a few minutes of the game. I'm not going to do a whole match on video, but I'm just going to show a few minutes of it running just so you can get an idea of what you're working with. So let's get to it and uh, have some fun. <laughs> Okay, so just kind of a really quick one there. Got in one elimination and just kind of showed you. Uh, surprisingly good. Uh, this is actually even better than I would have expected. Um, it's definitely playable. It's definitely fun. Um, and uh, I can't see any reason why anyone wouldn't be able to have a ton of fun with this. So anyway, uh, I hope that kind of quick showing on Fortnite gives you guys kind of a last idea of what to expect on just a random, generic, low-end video card like this. There's a ton of fun to be had. So get out there, have some fun. So let's uh, let's finish up, and uh, I'll have some final thoughts. Okay, so we are back. So we had a ton of fun. I mean, I most of those games I played... Um, uh, so I played Titanfall 2 for probably an hour or so total, 
probably 25 minutes before I started the video and about another 20 minutes after because I was having a ton of fun. Um, I played uh, Cyberpunk probably another 20 minutes more after uh, after what I showed on the video and I completed the match on Fortnite after I showed the video. There's there's like tons of fun to be had. Like all of this all of this nonsense about oh, you know, I can't afford this card or that card. Whatever video card you have, you can probably have fun with it. Okay? Like I that that video card I was testing on is probably worth under $20. I wouldn't pay anything for that card. I wouldn't buy that card. Um, I'd, I'd rather have a GTX 780 for $20, which I got for $20, than, than a 950. I don't even know where I got that 950 originally. I gave it to a buddy and then I ended up getting it back and I, I don't even know where that card came from. Um, but uh, yeah, so as you saw, and it ran the gamut. What we were able to play, we, we absolutely ran the gamut from... Dang, I got flies in here. Um, I got, I got, it's like 90, 100 degrees out, so it's kind of kind of hard doing this kind of stuff especially with the lighting putting out more heat um anyway though so we ran the gamut from modern it barely played cyberpunk but it did play it was absolutely playable and i would there's no way you're going to convince me that that experience wasn't playable it was playable it just wasn't beautiful so what it was still fun same thing with the others titanfall 2 looked amazing fortnite looked fine and ran at a very competitive frame rate it was fine so I just, I wanted to do this video to show those of you with, you know, older hardware, most of whom are probably going to have higher end older hardware than that. I just wanted to be able to show you guys, hey, there's tons of fun to be had. You don't have to have a 3070, 4070, 4080, 4090, you know, 5700 XT, 6800 XT, what have you. You can have just generic hardware and there's, there's tons of games. There will always be games that... Pretty much anything can play, and even some that look surprisingly good, like Titanfall 2, that you wouldn't expect, that run amazing. So, anyway, get out there, have some fun with hardware, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.